So I thought I'd explain why I don't bathe key. Because <laughs> <laughs> it happened once, but it didn't. It's not going to happen again. Most snow breeds have a very unique coat, which protects them from extreme temperatures and weather conditions. They have a thick top coat, which protects them from the elements. And they have a soft downy undercoat, which keeps them insulated. It also protects them from sun as well. They also have this natural oil, which acts like a waterproofing. So water actually slides off their back, like water off a duck's back, if you've heard that phrase before. So when they get wet, the, uh, the rain doesn't actually penetrate their coat. It just slides straight off. What? What is that? Are you just flapping your lips? What do you think about having a bath? Ew, you spat on me. Husky as mermaids will blow their coat twice a year. Once in the spring and once in the autumn. In the spring they are shedding their winter coat so that their thin summer coat can come through. And in autumn, they're shedding their summer coat so that their much thicker winter coat can come through. It's referred to as blowing their coat, which keep currently doing at the moment. The amount of blowing will, uh, will change depending on where they live. So if the husky lives in a hotter climate, they are less likely to shed as much because they're not going to need a winter coat. And the same goes for if they live in a cold climate where it's cold most of the year, they're less likely to shed their winter coat because they'll need it. The reverse is true if you live in a climate where you have constantly changing weather like we have here. So we can have rain one day, it's freezing cold, and then it'll be sunshine the next day. So their coat can um, blow for a much longer period. So you have to do a lot of vacuuming and a lot of grooming. You never shave the coat because they need it to protect them from not only cold weather but from um, the sunshine as well. If you shaved them, they don't have any pigment in their skin, so they're much more likely to get sunburned and skin cancer. It also means that if they don't have their coat, they can't regulate their body temperature properly, so they're more likely to overheat. The top coat stops the sun rays from going through, and the undercoat will actually stop heat from staying close to their skin. It lets air circulate, so long as they've been brushed properly and they don't have any matted hair. Uh, loose fur underneath, then the air can circulate and keep them cool, doesn't it? Keep them cool. Can I have a boot? For a biscuit? <laughs> okay, good boy. <laughs> so back to their natural oils. The reason why I don't bathe key is because shampoos will actually strip that natural oil away, which is their normal, their natural protection against the elements, which means that they're not waterproof anymore because that coating has gone and they're much more likely to get wet down to their skin, which we don't want. Do you not want a bath again? No more baths? It's <laughs> loud, Vicky. Whoa, 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 whoa. You need to put me in the eye. I don't want a boogery eye, Vicky. Can you lay it? Lay down. Keep your boogers to yourself. Lay down then. Yeah? You're gonna boot me, aren't you? <laughs> In my teeth! Ew! 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 Your nose literally went in my mouth! Ew! Can you just aim properly and get my nose and not my, no my mouth, please? So I may not have bathed to key with soap, but he has been head up, snoot to tail covered in mud and all I've had to do is wash him with a hose, it's just hose him over and the dirt just doesn't stick thanks to this natural oil which stops anything from sticking to his coat apart from sticky fox poo and I have had to use dish soap and uh, distilled white vinegar to remove that in the past. Thankfully he hasn't had that on his neck for a very long time <laughs> but uh, your average dirt mud just does not stick to that coat when he has his natural oils in the coat. When he's covered in mud, all I have to do is hose him and he'll be white again as the day is born. But if you wash those natural oils away, then you've removed the waterproof coating and mud is much more likely to stick. And I found after that one bath I gave him <laughs> that it's actually, because I removed the oils on his skin, which kind of act like a, a gel, which helps the hair to stand up and protect him properly. 
and he ended up with a parting running down his spine, which I'll insert now because it was quite funny. <laughs> what your parting do? <laughs> Why have you got a parting? That looks so weird. And that lasted for a couple of days. So there was a couple of days where his actual spine, um, the skin of his spine was exposed thanks to this parting because his hair wasn't sticking the right way. So there are three coat types for huskies. Keys is a short coat, uh, which is quite really easy to groom. Uh, he always looks like he's been brushed. It's definitely the easiest coat to, to manage. There's a woolly coat, which is definitely the hardest, but it's not a standard coat. It would be a disqualification if you were showing the dog because uh, it's not the most convenient coat for us to have because it's very long and very easy to mat and in cold climates snow will actually clump around uh, large areas of the coat. And then the third type is a plush coat which is a very uh, just as common as the short coat. A uh, plush coat tends to stand up more whereas a short coat quite often lays quite flat which is what Key's coat does while there's fluff coming off. So after I bathed him, I found it was very hard to determine when the shampoo was actually out of his coat. And up, like about a couple of hours later, there was a patch of his fur which was clumping together um, in the same way that it would if there was still shampoo in there. So I hadn't managed to get all the soap out, which I thought I had. So I had to hose him again. It also took a very long time to dry him, even though I used towels and I used my mitts which would normally dry him really quickly even if he's been paddling around in water or out in torrential rain i could normally just pat him down with these car cleaning mitts and he would be dry again because the natural oils would stop water from getting right down into his coat but without the natural oils the water was actually fully coating his hair and that meant that he was still damp into the night because i couldn't get him dry properly um, I know some people will say get a blower, but he doesn't. He doesn't like that. Uh, he doesn't even like the hair dryer. <laughs> but the biggest thing, the biggest question I get, <laughs> it's not even a question, it's an assumption. They assume you smell key. I don't know. Cheek? Do you smell? <laughs> do, do you smell? Do you, do you smell bad? Are you stinky? <laughs> You're not. So, yeah, Key does not smell bad at all. So that was one of the things I noticed when I bathed him, that I actually prefer his natural scent to uh, the out artificial berry scent of shampoo. They either don't have a scent or they smell sweet. Sometimes like candy floss or cotton candy in America. I think it's fairy floss in Australia. But yeah, key smells lovely and sweet. And it's a lot nicer than artificial berries. Now, because I don't bathe him, does not mean that you don't have to bathe your huskies. Sometimes they do need it. Different climates require different cleaning of huskies. And sometimes they get into things which just need some soap. But if you can, try and find a soap that doesn't strip the oils out because that's what they need. If your dog swims in swimming pools with chlorinated water often, then you need to wash that out. I don't know how effective just a hosing would be with chlorinated water, but if it works, then just hosing would do. But if you need to bathe them with soap, then, then that's what you need to do to protect their skin. I think a lot of people that have huskies only bathe once every six months. Personally, he doesn't need bathing at all. He's never got into anything really bad that's meant he <laughs> needed to be soaked up. The reason why I bathed him was partly to see how he would take to it, because he's never been bathed before. He's never been in the bath, so as you can see, he didn't know how to get in. Oh. <laughs> 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 that was the clumsiest way. Right, all the way now. Back in there. King, sis. So a lot of people have asked me to bathe him. I was curious enough to give it a try. 
And I was curious just to see whether or not it actually made him any cleaner or made him smell any better, but it didn't because he was just as white anyway and smells better with his natural scent in life. So you don't want to have another bath then? No? Okay. Okay, we won't have any more baths. Oh, I will. You won't. I like baths.